What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and today we are not really making a video about a certain topic instead of the fact of me more giving you an update on what's going on with Treeb Talks not only on the YouTube side of things but things that go beyond that because of something YouTube did to your boy and it wasn't just to me obviously it was to other small YouTube channels that is really preventing them from growing and I have a I have a big old opinion on that, but we'll dive into that. We'll dive into what's next for Treeb Talks, you know, a little bit of a video schedule and a little bit on what other extracurricular stuff I have going on and everything in between, ladies and gentlemen. So this is an update on Treeb Talks. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop right into the video. First of all, before I say anything, I want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to everybody that is subscribed to the channel. We just hit 810 subscribers today. We are 190 subscribers away from getting monetized, ladies and gentlemen. And that is just from pure hard work and determination. I don't hack the algorithm. I'm not smart enough to do that. I'm trying to learn how to be smart enough to figure out the algorithm more and more each day so my channel can continue to build because of this one thing I can't do anymore that prevents me from growing at a rapid pace. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm starting to learn more about the algorithm and things that could build this channel even more. But I've been doing it pretty organically and I got 810 of y'all rocking with me and I appreciate it. I appreciate the people that always constantly leave comments on the video. You know, you guys don't go unnoticed. Jag Gang 2018, Teal City Sports, Jack Fry. Oh God, I can't, I can't I can't think of your username right now, but he always calls me Tea Time, and you know he comment he comments on the videos uh, quite a bit as well. Christopher Columbus, Jay Dang, you know those two have been rocking with Treeb since zero subscribers. You know those guys were the OG subscribers. I'd be doing live streams, and those two would be the only two in the building. So you know I I appreciate all my loyal fans, and if you're a quiet viewer, you don't usually comment. I appreciate you too. Um, I understand not commenting on videos. I myself am a silent viewer for most of my subscribers. I don't really leave YouTube comments, but I appreciate you guys as well. Uh, people from my town here in Lewiston that watch me and still rock with me even though I make Jaguar videos and you're not a Jags fan. Again, I salute you. I appreciate you. I know who you are. You know I appreciate you so, so much. And I just... I'm over the moon, guys. I can't even explain to you. I'm... I'm doing everything the long way. You know, I'm not going the traditional route of college and then getting a full-time job and doing that. I'm I'm gaining experience right off the gate. Right out of the gate out of high school, I got a writing job. And then I got a production job. And now I'm on a radio job. And, you know, I've been doing my YouTube stuff. So, you know, like Dizzy Wright said, I'm kind of taking the player route. You know, I'm taking the longer route, the route less traveled by uh, for most people. And uh, I think that this was the route for me. I'm, I'm, I'm not the most patient person in the world, and I get angry when I don't see results right away. But, you know, it, it's good for me. It's really helped me build that patience and, you know, really, really earn it and really work hard to capture what I want this channel to be. And capture, you know, just myself as a man and myself as a, you know, future husband, you know, future father and stuff. Like, doing this stuff the hard way and going the long route is really really gonna help me out in the long run and you know you guys are a part of the ride and I can't wait till we hit you know something ridiculous like 100k like when we hit 100k when uh the YouTube channel blows up then you know that's gonna be insane I have other ideas I'm gonna start opening up other YouTube channels um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that right away or if when I hit a thousand because once I hit a thousand I'll be getting monetized from one channel and you know I'll be able to kind of do the side stuff and hope that people kind of go over to those uh i'm gonna be doing a huge crew podcast channel with me and my friends i know i'm gonna be doing that i also have an idea for a youtube channel that i'm not gonna tell you guys because i think it's a great idea and, and i don't want you guys up and stealing my idea so uh i'm gonna hold that one a little bit under wraps uh me and bailey i think bailey wants to start a vlogging channel i don't know if i'm gonna start a whole new channel for that but uh maybe you can go subscribe to her youtube channel just search up bailey hall it should be the first one that pops up, make sure you subscribe to her channel because she is going to be making videos soon. And if you're a female that watches this, uh, she's a girl's girl. So, you know, she's going to 
she'll she'll keep you entertained. I think she's gonna be doing vlogging, maybe some makeup review and shit like that. So make sure you follow Bailey. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into the big thing that YouTube took away from me and other small YouTube channels. If you do not have at least 1,000 subscribers now, you cannot live stream on YouTube. And that affects a lot. That affects a lot, you know, like live reactions to things here on YouTube. Like, that's where I got a majority of you. A majority of my core base found me on a live stream and rocked with me from there. Like, I'll, almost, like, every subscriber that is constantly, like, commenting on my videos or, you know, doing that, those are guys that came to my live stream first. Like, they found me during my live streams. There's, it's a very rare occurrence when somebody finds me just off of a video. You know what I mean? It's mostly, it's mostly live streams, and that's usually what people, you know, found me. And I, especially towards the beginning of the year, the beginning of the year was hot. Like, I was getting, like, 200 people in the building, like, gaining 40 subscribers after a fucking stream. Like, it was unreal. Like, it was crazy. And that is, I think, smaller YouTubers... <laughs> need to live stream more than bigger YouTubers. Like, not to say take old live streaming away from bigger YouTubers, but as far as getting your feet wet and getting off the ground on YouTube, streaming is the perfect way to do that. Like I said, my first couple of streams, I'd go on there, hundreds of people would show up, I'd gain 30, 40 new subscribers. Like, it was crazy, and it helped me build my channel, and now I don't have that option on YouTube anymore. I don't have the option to live stream. Live streaming was fun too. The last live stream I ever did was my live interactive mock draft. And you guys had a great time doing that. And now we can't do that on here anymore. But what we can do is we can do it on Twitch. We can live stream on Twitch now. That's something that I'm going to be doing. My Twitch will be in the description. Uh, Twitch.com slash Talks. It's the same, uh, same username. But... Make sure you subscribe to my Twitch channel because if we don't reach the 1,000 subscriber threshold by the NFL season, which, knock on wood, I hope we do, I'm going to be doing all my live reactions over on Twitch and I'm going to be doing uh, more things on there as well, just live streaming in general. Um, I'm going to be live streaming this upcoming either Tuesday or Wednesday where me and Cameron are going to have our rematch in Madden. And then when the draft rolls around, we're going to be going live doing my reactions for the draft. And then we're going to be doing one more live interactive mock draft on there. So hopefully you guys go out, subscribe to the Twitch channel, and make sure that our connection doesn't die. Because I love going live and I love interacting with you guys. So the fact that YouTube took that away from me, from me and other small YouTubers, like, that was just fucked up. And it wasn't right. And it's not a good decision on their part. Like, they can't even get, we can't even get super chats. Like, when we have that little subscribers like let us go live at least to build a base like to build a core 1000 subscribers the best way to do it and i will continue to say it is live streaming live streaming is a booming booming addition to youtube right now everybody that is popular live streams everybody who's not popular tries to live stream in order to get their channel some clout in order to get their channel some more viewers you know they're going to be doing live reactions to major events and then somebody's going to stumble upon it mostly they're going to ask you if they can if you can show the tv like that's a majority of what the people are going to ask but you know once you say no and if they stick around they're going to fall in love with your personality and they're going to fall in love with you as a person they're going to subscribe to your youtube channel that is what live streaming is. And small YouTube channels need live streaming more than big YouTube channels do. Because big YouTube channels, they already can get super chats. They can already get donations for their shit on stream. They can do that. Us small YouTubers not live streaming does not hurt YouTube or the YouTube community in the slightest. We can't even get super chats. So how is this even costing you money? Like, how is this even, it doesn't make sense to me how this was a sensible move on YouTube's part. How they woke up one day and were like, oh, this is what we're going to do. You can't live stream unless you have 1,000 subscribers. It's not a great idea. You know, you know what else was a great idea you guys came up with? YouTube Studio Beta. But YouTube Studio Beta sucks. Every little new thing that YouTube is trying to come up with and trying to, you know, produce it just has not worked. None of their ideas are working. The YouTube Studio Beta, I hope that never ends up being 
what YouTubers actually have to use in order to make their videos and their content because it sucks. I think it's better for the analytics. I don't. I, I like looking at my analytics more on a uh, YouTube Studio Beta than on you know the Creator Studio Classic. But you know, other than that, like editing my videos, you know, adding annotations, everything like that. Like I do still use the Classic, you know, because that's just the easiest way and it's what I'm used to I mean I've been using that for like 12 years you know it's the easiest I don't know why they need to change it and I also again just completely don't understand why you would take live streaming away from those people who don't have a thousand subscribers you know and I could this could all be wrong but it because the thing is is that they they said for mobile go mobile live streaming you need to have at least a thousand and I tried to go live on my laptop, wouldn't let me. Would not let me. So it's just a big problem. It's a big, big problem for YouTube. And they need to change it. They need need to change it. Because like I, I've said this a million times now, small YouTubers need YouTube Live. They need it. They need it to build a relationship with their audience that they can't necessarily build through a video. Live live commentary and live interactive stuff with your fans and the people that are subscribed to you is the most important thing YouTube has to offer right now. And YouTube Live hasn't even been around for that long. But it's the best, it's one of the best things to happen to YouTube because more people are going to be wanting to watch you then and there than sit down and watch a 10, 11 minute video of you. Like they're going to want to watch you live because you're watching something that they want to watch too. Whether that be a live reaction, whether that be a video game they want to watch you play. Like, you are doing exactly what they want you to do at that moment then and there. If you're just making YouTube videos, your average view duration is like 3 minutes and 30 seconds maybe. They don't watch the whole video. You guys probably haven't watched this whole video. And that's, that's just the facts of life. That's just how YouTube works. And if you want small YouTube channels to grow, you need to give us the live back. You need to give it back. This is why Twitch will outdo you in live streaming. You want to be the biggest video sharing website and live streaming website? Let everybody fucking stream. In fact, on Twitch, you can get super chats right off the bat, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's just something you can get right off the bat. Right from the jump, you can get super chats. Not on YouTube. You can't get YouTube super chats until you get 1,000 subscribers. So again, I don't understand how getting rid of live streaming for smaller YouTube channels makes any sense and that's i just i had to rant about that i had to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on with my life but again make sure you check out my twitch because that's where we're going to be going live during the draft we're going to do one more interactive mock draft and we're going to do uh me and cameron are going to play a game of madden this wednesday or tuesday so make sure you go over to the twitch channel you subscribe and you join me for this ride on our road to 1000 subscribers Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you haven't already make sure you can check all the links down below You can like me on Facebook at Treep Talks follow me on Twitter at Treep Talks follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley Also, if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell icon to so get notified every single time I drop a new video I drop new content on this channel six days a week and nobody at work me them is just straight facts Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always you guys have a great day